questions for Tommy and Mark? Um, Tommy, first off, congrats on your uh, first game of the Bobcats, 17 points. Uh, what did you just find about Easy out there playing? You are making a lot of good moves, especially in the paint. So what did you just say about your performance today? Um, I thought our offense was clicking for the first half when I, like I was getting going. I, good ball screens, good rolls, guys lifting, so it really opened the floor. Uh, but, you know, it was just good to see some buckets go in. Hey, Mark, uh, how do you approach this season? Everyone knows JP has moved on, and, and a lot of people expect this team to be pretty good, and that's going to fall on to you two guys. How do you guys embrace that, and handle that, or, or channel those expectations? Uh, just in practice, we just try, we just compete. Um, iron sharpens iron, and we um, just continue to compete in every day in practice, and that will show on the court. Do you, do you feel like hey, almost everybody's back? It's it's on us to make sure there's no slippage at the point guard position, kind of thing. Yes, right. You know the point guards, they're the um, quarterback of the team, so it's really important. Um, oh, Mark, another thing too. Uh, this season is, you know, this is kind of the first time back to normal. You guys didn't really play a normal season. There was no fans at the condo. You guys have pretty much a completely different atmosphere to play in this season. You know, is there anything that you guys have had to adjust to? Is there anything you might have had to change? You know, the change in atmosphere in the condo this year. Oh yeah, from my freshman year, I didn't experience none of this. To seeing it now, it's it's amazing. I, it's um, they the fans give us great energy, and that's what we need. Um, taking up a. What, what did they bring, especially today? Because I mean, it was pretty loud at some points. You had the band playing. What was just that your first experience having you know, the fans being uh, in the stands for you? Uh, it was great. It, it, they give us like that extra boost, like I was talking about, to play even harder and to give it all out in front of them. Tommy, uh, you know, 17 points in 17 minutes is pretty impressive. You know, is, what do you consider your first impression to, with Ohio in front of all these fans? Kind of what is or just kind of an big statement saying, here I am, or just kind of what's your impression? Uh, it was good that, you know, you get that first basket to go in and you hear that the really loud crowd, then it just like felt back to normal. You know, like last year with COVID, you never got to experience that. So you never got to get that momentum going. So I really felt that today. Tommy, you you've played a ton of basketball the last four years. What, what should Ohio fans know about you coming in to, to bring you the season you were playing pretty well? Um, I, I play hard, you know, I try to pick people up, lead the team on the floor, and you know, just like I said, play hard 100% of the time. Do you, do you embrace having a chip on your shoulder, moving up a division, uh, all that kind of stuff, or you know, maybe you don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I would say so, but basketball is basketball. So obviously, like you said, I've been playing for four years. I don't really think of this as anything new, but just you know, making it known that like, I, guys like that can play at this level, so what I can do. Uh, that's just it's motivation for us to do it again and uh, being there and experience what had happened last season is just inspiring us everybody on the team everybody on the team to want to do it again <clears throat> mark there's going to be a lot of talk all, all year about you guys are the hunted now instead of the hunters you got to change your mentality you got to bring it every night how in what ways how do you try to, to lead the way in that approach oh uh, we got to got to be sharp i mean it, it's not going to be easy because they're going to, especially when we play Buffalo, they're, they have that memory where we embarrass them. So it's, it's not going to be easy every game. We've got to be sharp. Are there things you can do during the week or, you know, big picture-wise, things you have to keep in mind to, to, to help this team and help yourself kind of navigate some of that extra pressure? Oh, yeah, just um, do um, extra work. Um, you just trust your work and everything should pay off. You played uh, next to or with Jason Preston last year, Mark. Uh, now you've got a new point guard partner. What can you tell us about Tommy after working against him for the last uh, few months? Uh, he's a great guy, great teammate, um, a great defender, and he's a, also like he's a great leader. Uh, because of his experience, or are there things that he's seen that maybe you haven't yet? Despite yeah, his also his experience and the things I haven't seen of him playing four years and me playing basically uh, year one, basically. Tommy, how have you enjoyed your time so far at OU? Um, yeah, I've loved it. Uh, off the court, we get along real well, the teammates. That was one thing I was kind of worried about, like how quickly we would click. But yeah, everyone gets along. And then on the court, you know, it's like a family, brotherhood. And uh, we've been just picking each other up, taking it day by day. So I've loved it. Is everything OK with your head coach? You had a lot of cushions on that chair this afternoon. <laughs> um, you guys know anything about that? 
I don't know if we're supposed to say. He cracks some ribs. Yeah, but he'll be he'll be fine. Yeah, he's, we're just glad to have him with us. Yeah. Anything else for these guys? No. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.